So looking at example 3, we're in 8.2 on exponential decay functions. Okay, I want you to go to y equals again and clear that all out. And we'll go with negative, which is at the bottom of your calculator, 3 times parentheses 1 divided by 2 and parentheses caret sign. And since all of this is up in the air in the exponent, we're going to put that all in parentheses. So put another parentheses, x, which is right beside the alpha, plus 2 end parentheses and press graph and because it's negative once again it's still down and it goes up okay um, but let's go and plug this stuff in so now negative two go to second graph and let's see what we get when you plug in a negative two into that function you end up getting negative three as your answer When you plug in negative one you end up getting negative one point five which is negative three halves when you plug in zero you end up getting negative point seven five which is negative three fourths when you plug in 1, you end up getting negative 0.375, which is negative 3 eighths. And when you plug in a 2, you end up getting negative 0.1875, which is negative 3 over 16. So when I go to graph this, that means I go over 2 this way, and I go down 1, 2, 3, and there's the point. I go left negative 1, and I go down about negative point, uh, one and a half. Right, or sorry, yeah, just down negative one and a half, put the point there. Then uh, over nothing and down 0.75, which is roughly here. Over one, down just almost a half, a little less than a half. And then over two and barely going down. And when I draw a line and connect it, this is a little better than the last example. Notice how there is no um, number out here, so the horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero for that problem. So, when we're taking a look here, the domain is all real numbers because it's going to touch every single x value. And the range, the range is whenever it is greater than negative 4. Whenever it's greater than negative 4. So the decay factor, when we're talking about this, here's your equation for the decay factor, almost identical almost identical to the growth factor. It was 1 plus R, we talked about that, where R stands for the rate as a percent, and A stands for the amount of money or the amount of whatever that you're starting with. So if we're talking about a population, it's the population that you're starting with. R is the rate, and T stands for time. Okay, so we got our decay factor inside of there. So let's take a look at this problem. It says you buy a car for $24,000. The value Y of your car decreases by 16% each year. Write an exponential decay model for the value of the car. So here's the model. 24,000 means I'm plugging that in for A. And R is 16% because that's your rate, but you need to write that as 0.16. So I plug this all in. This is A, so 24,000 goes in for A. 0.16 goes in for the R, or the rate. And T is going to stand for time. So here's what I end up having. 1 minus 0.16 is 0.84. Still the 24,000 on the outside. So now I have that T. It says use the model to estimate the value of the car after T years. So T being 2. So we want to plug in a 2 for the years. So I plug a 2 in there for T. And all you need to do in your calculator is type in 24,000 times parentheses 0.84 parentheses then squared, and you end up getting approximately $16,934. And the concept here is that we're getting at with cars, the value decreases as you go. That's what we're trying to get out here. When you first bought the car, it was $24,000. After you drove it off a lot, it's now $16,934 two years later is what we're getting at. So you can use your graphing calculator and it says um, use the calculator and use the table to estimate when the car will be $12,000. So what that means is I want you to go to your graphing calculator, so go to y equals, type in 24, 1, 2, 3, so zeros because 24,000, parentheses 0.84, and parentheses caret sign x. And when you go to graph, obviously you won't be able to see a lot of it on the graph. But what you can do is you can go to second and graph. The reason why you can go to second graph is it says use the, uh, the graph and table to estimate when the car is $12,000. What that means is tell me when y is roughly $12,000. Well, we keep going down, and what we realize is look at the y column. At 3, 
When it's three years, it's $14,225. At four years, it's $11,949. So it's pretty darn close to $12,000 at four years. So maybe a little before the fourth year, it's down to about $12,000. So the point is, you can get a rough estimate of this problem by simply just looking at your table, because your table has a list of every single point that's there. So here's your homework. Um, if you have any questions on exponential decay, please feel free to uh, contact me by email and let me know. Otherwise, um, have a blast, and we shall talk later.